I did a video around Christmas time sharing with you my ugly decor. We DIY'd it and made it into something I could actually use in my home. So we thought, why don't we do that with our regular decor that we use every day? I have this closet down here that I've never shown you guys in a video. It's where all of my decor goes that I just don't use anymore. We're gonna go in there, find some things to DIY. It's gonna be so much fun. The funny thing about this home decor storage closet is I cleaned it out six months ago. So this is all within the last six months. Whenever I have decor that needs to be put away, I take it down to this closet. Let's go. I don't think you guys have ever been in my basement. Now it's kind of dark, we'll have to see. Come on in. All right, you guys, welcome to my realistic decor closet where I put everything. So this is a narrow closet I have in my basement. It has all of these shelves here. So it's great because I do have this storage area. And let me show you some of the things I have here. Right here, you can see I have pillows that I bought at Target that I'm planning on getting a new couch in the living room. Haven't even put those up yet. And then you'll see stuff like this. So whenever I'm decorating, and removing things, I'll have like a whole box of stuff that we'll just bring down here that I haven't even put up yet. So this is kind of like spring decor. I have a ton of pillows typically, and then all of these different decor items. I also always have a ton of organization. So I like to save my organization, baskets, always a lot of candlesticks you know i have all of my rolling pins that i don't necessarily put out as much anymore and then back here this is where i keep all of our gift bags and stuff i like keeping it low so that the kids can find it this decor is not super old but to be honest with you it's kind of forgotten decor that i probably would just end up garage selling so i really want to find something that i can diy and actually put up in my home and love and display Ooh, okay, so this stool I used to have sitting out quite a bit. It's not necessarily my style anymore, but it's such a nice stool that would make a great stool, a great plant stand. So I'm going to update this and more of what my style is today. So my thought was I would get the top of this stool down to raw wood. So I came in and started to hand sand this, which I kind of thought was going to be an easy job. I have to tell you, it was not. Whatever was on there was on there good. I was trying to save time by doing it at my office, but I had to take it home and finish sanding the whole thing, the whole top portion with my orbital sander. Once I did that, it looked amazing. Now I wanted to paint the base of it, so I'm taping off that top portion that I sand so I don't mess it up. Then I'm going to paint with two coats of a Waverly Black Ink Chalk Paint. Once that dries, I'm just gonna remove the tape. And here's how this stool turned out. I have to tell you, I absolutely love it with the black base and the natural wood. If you guys like seeing me redo home decor in my house, make sure to hit that like button. It'll let me know to do more videos like it in the future. So I'm pretty sure this is mainly stuff that I had out in spring. There's some plants, candlesticks. These are some books. I'm wondering if we could do a DIY with the books. That might be kind of cool. I'm gonna grab these. I'm gonna lay all the books out. Then I'm gonna come in with a color called Blue Moon by General Finishes. Now this is actually a milk paint. I'll link to it down in the description box, but I really love this color. And if you haven't tried out milk paint before, it's really great on furniture. I'm gonna paint the outside cover of all my books. Next, I'm going to put all the books next to each other, and I'm gonna wrap them up with some twine that I already had on hand. Now, I wrap this twine around about three or four times, and then I'm gonna tie it in the back. And here's how I style these books all together. Okay, Liz, so we got a couple questions in on your Instagram, and someone wants to know when you put away your Christmas decor. I feel like this is kind of controversial because people put their Christmas decor away pretty much different times throughout the year. I have to say, I probably put my Christmas decor away like right after Christmas, like the 26th, the 27th. The reason being is because my Christmas tree has been up since October 15th. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments when you put your Christmas decor away. So I'm just kind of looking on the shelf and seeing what I can find. So much random. This basket's cool. 
I'm not a fan of the color of it. It looks like I bought it for $4 at the thrift store. Maybe I got it half off, but I don't think I ever did anything with it. Maybe I need to do a paint technique on it. Let's try it out. So I really wanted this to look like a wall hanging basket. So I'm gonna start by cutting out a triangle shape template. Then I'm gonna add some painter's tape that I can use to put on my basket. And I'm just going to trace my template onto the painter's tape. Next, I'll cut out all of the triangles. I'm gonna place the triangles underneath the edge portion of my basket. And then I'll finish it off by taping in the center of the basket. I sprayed it with one pretty heavy coat of white spray paint. Once it had a chance to dry, this was kind of the fun part. I just pulled it up and here's how I styled it in my bedroom. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, 2022 is the year to do it. We have so many fun videos planned for this year. So I have this and I was thinking maybe I could put it on here and make like a little like tray or something, but I don't love that idea. So I need something else. I guess I could use a candlestick. Let's try that, let's try that. Okay, candlestick. No, that just looks weird. Ooh, ew, 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 ew. I got it. It's an end table or a plant stand. I did it. <laughs> okay, I love that idea. So this is gonna be my absolute quickest DIY, but sometimes you just need a quick DIY. I'm gonna add some E6000 to the top of this candle stand. And you guys, this candle stand was one that I actually picked up from a thrift store and spray painted it white. I've had it, oh gosh, it's been in my house now for years. And the wood tray that I'm putting on top was also a thrifted item. I'm just gonna to try to center it up as best I can, and I'm gonna let it dry completely before I style anything on it. And here's how it looks in my bedroom. I love it. I love this pillow. I definitely need to take this one upstairs. What about this face? What can we do with this face? It's kind of interesting. I've had this now for several years, but it's been down here. Okay, let's see if we have a plant that we could put in it. There's these. Here, let's look down here. Okay, oh, this one. You guys, this is my favorite plant from Ikea. I buy it all the time. That would be kind of cute. Okay, we're gonna update this planter. Yay! So I'm gonna start by taping off the lower third of this planter. And I wasn't really worried about it being a straight line. I wanted the line to actually be kind of curving around. Next, I'm gonna cover the top portion with some craft paper because I wanted the top to remain white. For this next portion, you're going to need a bowl, some gloves, and something to stir everything with. I also picked up some concrete at Lowe's. So I'm gonna add some concrete to my bowl and I'm also going to mix it with water. Now, I never measure this. I just kind of mix water with the concrete until it's at more of like a pudding consistency. Then I like to go in with a foam brush and just paint all over the bottom portion. Now, I usually let this dry for several hours. Then I'm gonna come in and add in some more concrete. And you can make it look globby. I honestly think it looks better when it's a little globby and I'll let that dry completely. Then I'm gonna remove the painter's tape. You will get some of the concrete that was on top of the painter's tape coming off whenever you're pulling off the tape, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to style it with that plant that I found in the basement. I hope you guys feel inspired to update the free decor that you have in your home, and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.